In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a custom keyboard shortcut in Photoshop. In just a few simple steps, we're going to give the Edit Stroke menu option its own keyboard shortcut. Here I have Photoshop open and I have created a new blank document. Any size document will work fine because we're just going to use this document to practice with. So in the full version of Photoshop, Adobe gives us the option to create our own keyboard shortcuts. You will access this menu by going to Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. And for me, this falls down outside of the recording screen, but it's there towards the bottom of the Edit menu. Now this is going to bring up a dialog box with a lot of options. So let me explain a little bit about what we're looking at. Right now, everything here is all set to the Photoshop default. At the very top of the dialog box, we have two options. We have keyboard shortcuts and menus. Make sure that it is set to keyboard shortcuts. Then in the shortcuts for dropdown box, there are four options. There's application menus, panel menus, tools, and task spaces. I'm not going to take the time to go through all of them here, but once you see how this works, you'll see how easy all of this is. So for now, just keep it set to application menus. Now the custom keyboard shortcut that I want to create is a keyboard shortcut for accessing the stroke dialog box from the edit menu. Because I know what I'm looking for is in the edit menu, I'm going to click to toggle that open now. Once it's toggled open, this is going to show every option under the edit menu, along with the assigned keyboard shortcut, if it has one. So I'm going to scroll down until I find the stroke option, which is right here. And you'll see that as of default, the edit stroke menu does not have a keyboard shortcut listed. This means that we have the opportunity to create one of our own. So to add a shortcut, First, we're going to click on the word stroke, and you'll see a box appear next to it for typing in the keyboard shortcut. And now we've come to the hardest part of this lesson, which is finding a keyboard shortcut that isn't already being used by Photoshop. So let's go over a few key points about this before we type something in. Number one, picking a keyboard shortcut that isn't already in use may require some trial and error. You may have to enter different shortcut options before something that isn't in use can be accepted. Number two, once you find an option that you can use for a keyboard shortcut, you'll want to make sure it doesn't conflict with the operating system of the computer you have. Number three, there's also the potential for this keyboard shortcut you create to conflict with other applications on your system. So if you have both apps running at the same time, this could cause you some potential issues. Number four, if the shortcut you do create does give you problems with either the operating system or another application, just change it to something else that doesn't. So to show you what happens when you type in a shortcut already in use, I'm going to type in shift control or command S just to see if that's available. And right away I get a warning because this is already in use. So I'm going to press the backspace or the delete key to get rid of that choice. Now I've already done a bunch of trial and error for you for this one. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of shift alt control one or shift option command one and then once you type something in and no warnings come up, you can then click accept and it will now be your keyboard shortcut for the stroke dialog box. So let's click OK to close out of this and just to show you, now when you go to the edit menu, you'll be able to look and see that the stroke option, even though it's grayed out right here, it has our assigned keyboard shortcut listed. So now let's practice and try it out. So in the layers panel, I'm going to click on the create a new layer icon. Then I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool. And in the tool options, I'll click on the new selection icon, set the feather to zero and set the style to normal. 
And then on the document, I'm just going to hold down the shift key and click and drag to create a square selection. You can make any shaped selection that you want. Now we can press our new keyboard shortcut of shift alt control one or shift option command one to access the stroke dialog box. How handy is that? So now I'm going to set the width to 30 pixels. You can set the color to anything. I'll just leave mine set to black. I'll set the location to inside, the blending mode to normal, the opacity to 100%. I'll uncheck preserve transparency and then I'll click OK. And then I can press Control D or Command D on a Mac to deselect. And there you go. We just created our very own custom keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to give you one last warning before I show you a page I made using some stroke outlines. This keyboard shortcut menu gives you the power to change the keyboard shortcuts already assigned in Photoshop. I highly recommend that you don't change any of the default shortcuts because here at Digital Scrapper, if we give you a step that uses a keyboard shortcut, it will always be the default one. And so here's a page I made where I created some stroke outlines in the chevron shape to add some visual interest to my background. I love how colorful and happy my page is and making my chevron strokes was so fast and easy using my new custom keyboard shortcut. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jennifer Juris with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.